Hi, I'm Nero, a trailer reactor and reviewer for Filmbook. My partner, Yboy, and I will be watching, reacting to, and reviewing Best Friends. Let's watch some stuff. Trust me, friendship before money. Can you say that? Yeah. What? Huh. Trust me, friendship before money. Right. Yeah. I have a good story for you. A familiar story. One guy meets another in the big city. So wait, they have dreams. He's making another movie? Change. Yeah. Creed, oh, I thought this was like something like a documentary based on him. No, that's the disaster artist. This is something else. Like this is actually an original movie with Tommy Wiseau and Greg in it together. Oh. I'm so perplexed by it. <laughs> this, every time I see Tommy Wiseau, he just looks like the weirdest mannequin that you can just find at a store. See, this doesn't work for me, because, okay, the reason why The Room works, why people think it's so funny, is because it's a absolute failure of a film. That's why it's funny. This was a film he made with genuine heart behind it. He genuinely cared. He genuinely believed what he was doing was something deep and dramatic, and it's a absolute piece of crap. Right. That's why it's funny. But now that he's in on the joke that he is a punchline, it makes me think he's going to be like, oh, then I'll just play that up. And then it won't be funny anymore. It's the same reason, like, I've seen The Room and I've seen Birdemic. Yeah. I get why people think The Room is funny because, again, abject failure, yeah. absolute garbage, even though he tried. I don't care. I, I don't care about The Room. It's just another crap movie to me. Yeah. I don't care. That's fair. The thing with, like, Birdemic. Birdemic was intentionally made to be garbage, so it doesn't work. Because there wasn't heart behind it to be like, I'm trying my best, I'm working so hard, and we failed this colossally. Right. But I, you know, I, th was, I, I think, though, you're a little bit jumping the gun sort of thing. Because this isn't, like, made by Tommy Wiseau. It's made by, by Greg. <laughs> like, he, he's the one that basically wrote The Disaster Artist as well, which is one of the most critically acclaimed movies of the last year, being basically... Uh, a doc, an autobiography of the whole like filming of the room, which later got turned to the James Franco movie, The Disaster Artist, and it's it's basically Tommy was so in this movie is basically just an actor in it. I don't believe he is part of the story or anything like that. This is something that's written by. Okay, Greg. but he he can't act either. No, he can't. I, I, but I think that from the trailer they're placing him in sort of the right role, just just the out there sort of guy, like even the Disaster Artist. Where James Franco played Tommy Wiseau, that was just sort of his archetype. He was the out there friend who was basically eroding the entire world around his ego. And that was just sort of like the best way you can frame him because he's not a good actor at all. He's not really even the best person if you really got to know him. Like if you've seen him in Disaster Artist, he's kind of a horribly egotistical asshole. Yeah, he, he has a lot of ego for somebody with no talent. He, much like, he's kind of like the Logan Paul of film, I guess, where, like, he's up his own ass. Yeah. From from the things I've heard about both of them, actually, from both of them, actually, like, yeah, they're both up their own ass, and it's like, yeah, but then you check out their stuff, and it's like, okay, but where's the talent? I see either, A, you're just a dick, or... B, you're talentless, and you're really a punchline we're all making fun of, and you just haven't picked up on that. Yeah. I am sort of, sort of intrigued by this film, mostly because I I like Greg's writing from his other projects. So oh, yeah, I, The Room was a masterpiece. 
Well, no, that was all Tommy. That was his writing, oh. producing, directing, everything Tommy. Greg was just the friend who was brought along for the ride, who just wanted to make it big, but ended up in that. Do you think he... Do you think he knew? Oh, yeah, Greg knew. Like, like he knew, like, this thing is going to be such a colossal... This is going to be like the Hindenburg of film, all right? This will this will be just... It'll be a disaster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, but it'll be such a disaster, it will get noticed. And he's like, there's my door. No, he, no, he, I don't believe he went that far. I believe, like, a lot of people in the entertainment industry, he went into this really feeling that this would be, like, his big break into films. It wasn't until, That's like... That's why it's he, funny. Yeah it, was, yeah, it wasn't until he actually got into the project and got Tommy into, like, the full display that he realized... Could that was, be a movie? <laughs> yeah, that's... Got a, Tommy? <laughs> got Tommy. And that basically is a disaster artist. You got Tommy everywhere, and he basically they drives someone it, insane. They can make it a cross between E.T. and Little Monsters, that weird movie with <laughs> Howie Mandel, <laughs> where the freakish alien and the annoying monster that doesn't shut up will be combined into one character called Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> And I guess Greg will play himself, and Tommy's like the monster alien from under the bed. <laughs> he does look like a monster alien from under the bed. Man, look, I know I'm ugly. I make <laughs> no defense how much of a hideous human being I am. I mean, I've asked plenty of my friends, like, I'm a goblin, I'm a Ferengi, I'm, I'm every manner of hideous creature known to man, woman, and child, and I accept that with a grain of salt. But Tommy was so is one ugly fucking guy. He looks like when he came out of his mom, he was somehow beaten with the ugly stick as it crawled from the cesspool that can only be described as her womb. Yeah. I'm, I'm having to believe he wasn't born so much as she might have had a mole on her ass that she needed removed, and then that mole, much like a gremlin, like, was fed after midnight, and it just stayed in, and it hatched into oh, Tommy was so. Oh, God. Honest, honestly, just from the trailer, I am interested to see what Best Friends is going to bring. Assuming if Greg is the talent of the of the, the okay, for the sake of argument, okay, let's say he's the talent of the group, maybe it'll be good. And in the very least, people are just going to make fun of Tommy again for a couple more years. And that, I I almost feel bad in that regard because it's like it's like the Razzies. We basically spend millions of dollars on our award show. To mock you for being an absolute failure at your craft, which to me is like the biggest dick thing you could do. Yeah, it really <laughs> which, is. That's what I do not like the Razzies. This, we spend, all, like, I know, okay, yeah, we make fun of filmmakers. Yeah, but we're not spending millions of dollars we could be donating to a charity fund, cures for diseases, <laughs> uh, food to foreign countries, or clothes to the the needy. Yeah. They, they literally spend a mil, like millions of dollars to be like, look at this abject failure who failed to do their job in, in, the, in this art and entertainment industry. Look how horrible you are at your work. Let's spend millions of dollars to make fun of you on a stage. I'm really surprised there hasn't been a situation where they've called somebody up and the guy literally just flips the bird and then maybe drops trout and takes a shit right on the stage and then walks away. Oh, God. Yeah. Maybe it will happen someday. Maybe. Maybe we'll make a movie and we'll end up at the Razzies. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, I probably... Because then, then I'd give my speech of, wow, you're all just the worst people. Here we all are, going out in the industry, trying to work. Yeah. And you literally spend millions of dollars just to shit on us. Yep, there you go. Bye. Good job. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this statue. Um, I'm, I think I'm just going to melt it down. <laughs> and then, uh, or, or huck it for money. And then I'll take that money and I'll just give it to a charity. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go see this. I I have no interest in Tommy Wiseau. He just exists. He's like a fart. Like, pfft, it happened, stunk for a little bit, moved on. Don't care. Like, I, I didn't care about the room. I didn't see the disaster artist. I'm not really a... I really don't like James Franco, and I'm really not big on, on Seth Rogen. Even though Seth Rogen could write some pretty intelligent yeah. stuff. I don't think... Did Seth Rogen write the... T no, he was just yeah, he was just an actor in that. Oh, okay. Well, acting wise, he's okay. He kind of always plays the same character in whatever he's in. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he basically he, he, was, but he did, he did a good job in that. I feel 
Just be, that's, that's good. You just be the pissed off. Uh, I believe he was the director of photography or something yeah. like that. I, I think he was the director because I remember one part, like they show in the trailer, is they, they show the infamous. And then I hear her, I you know. Oh, hi, Mark. And like the, the joke is like he keeps fucking up the shot over and over and yeah. over. And then eventually they get it the best they could. And they're just like, that's it. <laughs> yeah. that, so that's, as, that's as good as it's going to get. I guess that's going to be the same for best friends. It's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> that's as good. I bet this will be at the Razzies. Thank you for watching and listening to our reactions. Be sure to comment below and let us know if you're looking forward or dreading this movie. Now, if you want to see more Why Boy and my thoughts on movies, please visit us at ToonGrin.com. We review all sorts of films, links are on the screen and in the description below. If you would like to support film book and future reaction videos, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications. If you want to support us, then check the description for links for, to our Patreon. And until the next trailer, thank you, and we'll see you then. Peace.